There's a fair wee breeze in the first half and just would have decided to go with one of the toss would go with them and you know just try and get a bit of momentum you know a bit of victory up and uh, it took us slow to get going to be honest when we got two minutes there I think in 18, two scorers in 18 minutes and, uh, but then a half back early and Rafa came and run forward and finished off a nice goal and since then I think we just started to pile on the points and started getting top of Marfelt but it was we made it tough from Marfelt in the first half as well to get a score like them and scoreless like so we knew if we came out in the second half and we scored an goal and a couple of points maybe I'd finish them off like keep signs in the back and we'll show in the game we're talented all around the field we've got good players to do different positions or different jobs around the field and just just team team ethic like just we, we play well together like we, we can run on the ball we can kick the ball in we know we've, we've got players in different positions that can do out there you know and it all can work for us like we haven't got really a main game plan you know just kick the ball in and run in and usually both will work like and uh, do you think you can go all the way this year? Is there confidence in the squad? Aye, there is definitely. Is like we don't have the best league run. Like we, we thought we could have done better. Like, but I think all the lads know we're all good enough. Like to go for. It's just the work we put in. Like if we keep our heads down, we could go for. Like if things go right, and we do what we're told to do, I think we could. Aye. No, I suppose coming into the game, we obviously knew that uh, Mark felt were a serious challenge for us. Um, I know if 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 Captain Brady and taking them now, and I'm sure you know put a lot of work into that team. And I suppose for both teams it was difficult preparing for this week because of the, the conditions. And I suppose maybe up until maybe this morning we're unsure if the match was even going to go ahead. Um, so I suppose you know our objective this in this game was supposed just to get through to the next round. Um, I suppose maybe it turned out maybe better than we expected. And um, the performance we put in, especially in the second half, and maybe. Um, the elements were a wee bit against us. You know, it was a bit more showed a bit of composure in important stages in the game and. Obviously the goals were, were, were vital for us, but um, we're just glad we could get through to the next match and we'll look forward to it. Um, and the only thing you can say is if the, if, the, if the lads took a foot of the paddle a wee bit, maybe then a wee bit of complacency steps in and, and next thing maybe Moharfelt get a, a foothold in the game. But thankfully our boys, you know, even though Moharfelt did start well, they got a couple of points early on in the second half. Um, I say we, we got a couple of goals and that really sort of settled us really well in the second half and gave us a, a sort of a frame to to build on for the rest of the game and we're able to see the game out. We're, we're glad to get through today's game. Obviously, we're due to play the winners of uh, Mahara and St McCartan, so um, obviously we'll, we'll have a keen eye on that game. And Whoever it may be, we'll, we'll look forward to that and prepare as best we can. Well, conditions were very tough for the boys. Some of the snow showers, hail showers came on there. That cold, biting wind it was very, 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 very tough for the boys to play in. In fairness, Emmyville deserves great credit. Their pitch is in tremendous condition here. Uh, we always knew that St McCartans were going to come with a blanket defence to make it hard for us to play against. We were very pleased with how we did first half. Uh, we felt we had pretty good control of the ball. A few times we were making poor choices. We were getting sucked into scrimmages where we didn't need to be, but. To come in, having played against that breeze in those conditions, to come in five points up at half time, we were very pleased with that. Uh, second half, the game probably petered out a bit on us. There was no urgency about us, there was a certain lack of cohesiveness about us. We didn't make great use of the ball at times. We had goal chances there that we just simply wasted, probably. And on another day, we know those sort of things. The second half performance in particular would probably come back to haunt us on another day. I was tough enough, the conditions weren't weren't ideal but yeah we, we were lucky enough to go in at half time we were we were in the lead so I think that was a big big benefit for us, big help. Uh second half we were we found it a bit easier playing with the wind. We were, had that five point cushion. We always knew that Monaghan would have to, to pull back and we knew as long as we didn't get any goals that we were gonna be in the in contention to, to win the match. Well, quarterfinals will be back out in at the start of the week again. We'll get back into that again. Uh, Dungannon, we have St. Patrick's Dungannon, who are very impressive, very, very impressive winners last night against St. Mary's Marifelt. Uh, played very well, really looked cohesive, really looked good ball players, and had a nice pace and intensity about their play as well, which we didn't show here today. And it's a cliche, I know, but we'll certainly have to, we'll have to improve significantly if we're going to contest against St. Patrick's Dungannon that day. Uh, we don't have a date as yet, it'll probably be a couple of weeks away, so we'll get two or three good tough sessions in there, we'll ask a few questions and we'll see what we'll see what we can come up with when we get paired up with Dundannon.
but it'll be a tough game for us. Charlie Carr, your reaction to winning there today and getting through to the quarterfinals? Yeah, well, it was a good performance. Like, showed a lot of guts to get through to Yanago, you know, it's in pause. Like, uh, the embarrassed us there in Yarn in the group stages. So, we we'll had a tough playoff there to get you Nago know, at them. And so now, St Paul's Bestbrook, that obviously means a lot to you guys. Local derby, that'll be some game. Yeah, it should be. Like, Friday night in Yarn, maybe, you never know. Uh, just, they have, a, they have one over on us, so hopefully we can get them back. They'll be up for it, and so will we, so it should really be a good game. Who do you think played well for St Colmans today? Uh, well, Ray O'Neill, like he got two goals there. His danger always going forward, and uh, I suppose Pierce Oak, like he always seems to put in a good shift and always going forward and back. So, yeah, played very well. Like. Cahill Murray, could I put it to you that the best thing happened to you today was the red card? I wouldn't say that. <laughs> you probably you, you wouldn't have noticed that we were, had 14 men against 15. Such was the work rate of, of all the other guys. Um, but in terms of moving forward in the next game, you know, he's an outstanding young talent and it's disappointing maybe not to have him. But um, that's life and you just, you know, that's the, the, the calls that were made, so I had to deal with it. Up to that, I mean, there wasn't much spark about the game, but all of a sudden your guys up their game, every player by 20%. You find that so often that the team who goes a man down really have to raise the game so much. And it was it was it was evident in our play that we had to compensate for for 14 rather than 15 and the work rate the boys have been working very hard now and, and certainly it's something that has been uh, a characteristic of the team this last while we, we probably went through a phase of, of being nice footballers but maybe not not actually rolling the sleeves up at times so it's pleasing to put a performance like that in today and come out of the right side When they put that mixture together then of rolling their sleeves up and having a bit of talent they looked a very very good team no doubt about it, and particularly Connor who gets sent off. We brought in a number of fifth years, Peter Fagan, who's a fourth year, uh, Mark Lee Brennan, kept him scoreless from play, which was outstanding from his point of view. So, in turn, th- those guys have brought a freshness to the panel, you know, since Christmas, since the, the, the early stages of the McCormick Cup. So, and that's one thing they've brought a wee bit of flair, and the other guys have had to raise their game, both to get playing and to, to stay on the field. So, it's, it's been good, it's been, it's, been, it's been good for the panel. And now into the quarterfinals, a uh, small matter of a, a local derby against St Paul's Bestbrook. Yeah, looking forward to that. Now it'll be, it'll be interesting. Um, so, St Paul's have, have had a great season, a great couple of seasons there on the John Rafferty. So we know what they're up against. And looking around the rest of the competition, it's been an interesting weekend. Big wins for Mahara and the academy. It's hotting up for the quarterfinals. No doubt. I mean, the traditional schools there have put in some big performances. Uh, into the quarterfinal, so I mean it, it's very difficult at this stage to say who who are favourites. I don't think there are any, and, and certainly any team can put a performance in any given day that that could win the cup. So I think there's a lot of good football to be played between now and, and St Patrick's Day. Gary McDade, that was a bit of an epic encounter. Yeah, it certainly was. I suppose it's a typical McCrory Cup game, Jerome, you know what I mean? It had everything. It had scores, it had uh, massive heart, massive bravery in the both teams. And uh, just unfortunately, one team had to lose again. We're very thankful it, it wasn't us that lost the game today. What do you think was it that got your team through in particular? What qualities? Well, them boys there, you know, they've come through since they won under 13B at Corn Column Kill, so they did in first year, and they've come through since then. They played A the whole way through at Corn and Og and Brock Cup and ran a fast and would have got to the quarter final every year. And we're back there now at the minute, and we have a game against the Pats Calvin, who are their old nemesis, and Calvin have always got the upper hand on us in those games every year, you know what I mean? So it's, they were, I know they were there watching the day, so I'm sure they had plenty of notes taken and be well organised for us in the quarter final. Um, but today, for our lads, I mean, it's going to be massive pulling back into the college, even back up in Century Hall. Like um, just the the pride 
and then the day in the black and red, we, Eddie Harvey there's a retired teacher working along with along with the team. And he often tells the boys about the McCrory games in the fifties and sixties. I mean, they got the three McCrory finals in, and and uh, you know the boys would be often told stories off that there, and they know they're carrying a tradition on of playing in the black and red. And it's not often we would get a chance to play McCrory Cup two thousand and nine is the last time we got that opportunity. So we did in two thousand and eight. The team captain Michael Murphy is the last time we got to the quarter final. So it was so. Thankfully, we're back today, and we're in the knockout stages. And we got football after Christmas and we have another game now. Ah, it means it means huge for the school and as a team we've been together now the last six years and the training we've went through and the managers or whatever they put together has just been immense and it's just been a brilliant experience to play in McCrory. And what's made the difference? You mentioned a few of the teachers, the work that's gone in in the school. That's a good group of players as well. Ah, it's brilliant. As I said, we've been together for six years and Gary McDade there has been with us and he's put the work he's put in has been immense for the team and Mr Harvey himself there and Mr Gordon and we're with Anton McFadden too strength and conditioning the last couple of years and it really helped us and brought us on You got a great start today Aye we did I well, we try we try always get a good start now and, and today it actually worked and we're happy with that So you planned that did you I think it was possibly the fastest Gaelic football <laughs> goal ever Ah well no it wasn't planned now it just kind of we're, we're told they we have a couple of ground drills when they're, when before the match but now nah, it wasn't planned <laughs> and then they came right back at you and it turned in, out to be a bit of an, an epic game going back and forward you must have thought you had it won a few times ah we did but as, as one thing is that team is we've never give up we could be 10 points down or 10 points up we stick to the same game plan we just go at it from then